Hello friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Colonization! Roanoke has built its stockade, and is now going to build... Oh, I don't know. Lumber mill, yeah. That's something every, every town needs, really. That'll double our efficiency at the carpenter's shop. Oh good, our caravel has finally reached the Inca. We will trade with them. A fairer price would be 511 gold for these excellent trade goods. I barely... I probably paid 300 for these stupid trade goods. You're going to have to pay more for that. Alright, I will gratefully accept 420 gold for these trade goods. Tools and rum tobacco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take silver if you'll give it to me. I will gladly pay that much. Did I already talk to these Indians here? I don't think I did. It's an Iroquois village. They train ore miners. No, I already talked I already talked to them, apparently. I don't have anything to do with this particular town. Hmm, a merchantman. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I can't resist. But we are carrying some cargo. Uh, the merchantman evaded us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, we've got a problem here. These wicked Apache have attacked our scout. Crazed with the with the prospect of stealing our treasure. If they steal this treasure, I will burn every camp they have. I swear it. Anyway, let's try and get this treasure out of their way. I'm moving over to the mountains because, well, treasure is more likely to survive in the mountains. And I'll try and get it out of their path. But they're crazy, so, you know, I don't know what I can do. I might not be able to save that treasure. Let's plow the commons in Boston. And Plymouth has produced its warehouse. Excellent! Plymouth really needed a warehouse. Alright. Now... Now... How about... We're not really producing anything here. We could produce rum, but not that much of it. Well, how about a printing press? A printing press per increases the colony's liberty bell production by 50%. So what that means is there will be 50% more liberty bells over here. That means more... Uh, that means the colonists will be con converted to uh, rebellion faster and we'll get more founding founding members of the new nation faster. The new rebel nation. Alright, now this careful has silver. Let's go to England. And for no particular reason, they went they went west to go to England. That's weird. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to save that treasure, but well, I'll try to meet it if I can. Alright, our soldiers are in Plymouth, and they're horseless. I need to rehorse this soldier. Check in Roanoke, see if there's horses. There are plenty of horses in Roanoke. Alright. And I can't really do anything with his galleon. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to attack Santo Domingo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this guy right here, this guy, is going to fish. He's going to provide, he's going to fill the, the food gap that was created by this, this uh, indentured servant here that became a free colonist, and he's going to grow food for himself. Or he's going to haul food out of the ocean for himself. Hope you like fish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna take this to Knobscott, actually. 
And our treasure gets a move. So I will try and get out of their way. And Boston has produced docks. How nice. Now, how about a warehouse? So I can grow plenty of food here, more than enough for another colonist. I have one, two, three, four, five extra. I, I produce more food than I eat in Boston with this guy going fishing. All right. And this guy right here will start building the warehouse. A colonist in Plymouth has learned to be a fisherman. Excellent. Well, goodbye. I'll have the convict fish now. And now we're not getting enough food anymore. Oh well. That's life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to check by Plymouth for, for those evil French activities. They're evil, I tell you. Let's have a look at the Foreign Affairs Advisor. Let's see, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. We have 21 colonists right now. The Spanish have 18 colonists. 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18. The Dutch have 19 colonists. And the French are sort of limping along. All right. One, two, three. I'm still trying to get over to that treasure. I don't know if I can save it. And I don't know if the scout's going to be any good when I when I get to the treasure. Probably not. I'll eventually have to send someone to actually rescue them. And by someone I mean a dragoon. That's not good. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to have this guy stay in the back here, because if he gets four turns, he can strike Santo Domingo without risking being attacked this particular season. Unload the guns, muskets, and, and Roanoke. They're going to be on boycott soon, I'll tell you that much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And next turn, I will use this privateer to start ferrying... Well, not next turn, but the turn after the next, I'll start using this privateer to ferry this dragoon over here so he can rescue the treasure, assuming such a thing is even possible. The Apache are still going to be punished, but perhaps if the treasure survives not as severely. One, two, three, four. All right. And expert farmers are available in London. Sell 475 gold worth of silver. That's a lot of money. And let's grab our farmers and set sail. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. All right, I couldn't quite get over there. But these Indians are keeping their distance now. In fact, if I cannot see any Indians in these squares, I'm tempted to just stay here for the turn. I don't really want to move further away from where I want to go, if I don't have to. And I'd better keep a Dragoon around here somewhere. I do need more defense. One, two, three. Alright, Ore Miner, you're done. You're done. We have an expert fisherman now. So this ore miner is actually going to mine ore. It's quite a lot of ore, actually. And this guy over here is going to be a blacksmith. And now we're producing tools for no particular reason. Well, I don't really need to produce tools. We should build an armory in Roanoke. Well, for now, we'll build up some more. How does that sound? Logical? All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. See if I can attack Santo Domingo. Mighty Conquist, yes, very mighty Conquistador Hunter. Something, something, welcome you to New Spain. You are confused. This is New England. I've told you this again and again. We have never condoned piracy. Either. I have no idea what you're talking about. We're at war! What do you mean piracy? What is that? That doesn't even make sense. 
I will agree. I will allow you to exist in the new world. But I demand a tribute. And they laugh at my feeble threats. Well, I laugh at your treaty. So let's look at this here. Soldiers, two. Plus 150%. So that's five. A defense of five. And our dragoons have a value of three. Plus 100%, that's six. So six versus five. We could still lose, though. But the Spanish lost. Very good. That was exactly what I was hoping to accomplish. Let's get us privateer over to the Aztecs. They're always willing to pay a good price. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This guy seems to think he's he's encountered the New Netherlands. I don't know what this guy is thinking. We have justly claimed all of this land in the name of the stakeholder of the United Provinces of the Netherlands and are here to build a mighty overseas trading empire. Well, that's the least repulsive uh, thing I've, I've heard from these guys so far, from these other colonies. Trading empire, that doesn't sound so bad. Our stakeholder is most displeased. I don't know what he's talking about. I've never heard that. There's no pirates. We will be peaceful. I could probably actually afford to get these guys in an alliance against the evil, say, Apache. Wow. That's a huge amount of money. Forget it. And the prices are fluctuating. Ore is not under boycott? I thought it was under boycott. Well, I guess now I get to throw ore into the, into the ocean with the Plymouth Ore Party. That's so ridiculous. Ooh, that was a lot of ore. I hate to waste good ore. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. All right. I think the treasure has escaped, but now we need someone to come and get it. I don't know why I'm moving this galleon. It should be over by the coast to receive the the treasure. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to move it back over there. You notice the call, the uh, population of Santo Domingo increased by one because one of the soldiers was added to the population. Lost his muskets. And this is going to be the escort for the treasure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this guy is going to trade with the Aztecs. One, two, three, four, five, six. But they're going to have to pay for him. I want them to pay a fair price. They will pay 535 gold for some trade goods. And I'll definitely take their silver. 25 silver, that would be about a thousand. Yeah, I'll pay that. I will gladly pay 263. I'll probably get at least 500 for it in London. That's fair. And now Boston is plowed. So we're producing even more food there now. Six more than we're using good. It would be nice to have a road to Knobscot. It's kind of a long way, but I better get started. Alright. And here's our caravel with our farmer in the middle of nowhere. No, I want you to go back to the colonies. One, two, three. Seven, eight. We have a great navy now, you may have noticed. If we look at our naval advisor. We have three privateers, a galleon, and a caravel. Which is a pretty useful navy. Let's have a look at the Indian advisor, too. He's always interesting. The Arwaks have some muskets, some horses. The Tupi have quite a few horses, a few muskets. Not very many muskets, but quite a few horses. You can always increase the power of these Indians by selling them muskets and horses, but the problem is I don't have any to spare. Oh, these scouts are going to guard the treasure. One, two, three, four, five, six, until I can get to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And these guys are going to sell that silver in London. And the Aztec are giving us sugar. That's nice of them. Toopy makes a prize raid near Roanoke. Excuse me? All right, well, they actually destroyed 50 tons of horses. And a criminal in Plymouth has learned to be an indentured servant. Good for him. And we need tools. All right, well, that's what blacksmith, I mean, not blacksmith, that's what ore miners are for, making tools. This guy is going to be a fisherman in no time. In other news, in other news the Tupi need a lesson. And this lesson is going to come via Dragoon. One, two, three, four. They can't just attack me whenever they like and get away with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, I don't know where the English, the English, the Spanish are based. I guess they're based out of Santo Domingo. I don't like how they're lurking outside of Knobscot like that. I don't like that at all. Alright, so... There's our galleon. One, two, three, four, five, six... And there's our... Dragoons. May they be successful. Go to London with the silver. Scott has a warehouse. Good. And we'll probably be wanting some docks here. Well, docks? I don't know. Stable, more like. Plymouth produced its printing press. Alright. Now, how about a fort? A fort will increase our defense in Plymouth by 50%. Of course, it would probably be much more improved if we actually stationed soldiers here at Plymouth, but I don't have that kind of manpower. Sorry. All right, let's see. Requires 100 tools. Yeah, this, this looks about right. Well, not that right, but this guy will make 12 more tools and then I'll have to start mining more again because I don't have the right manpower. Regulars have been added to the King's Royal Expeditionary Force. Good for him. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stay away, Indian. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The Tupi will be punished. Toopy are pleased to see the prosperity of our neighbors, the English. Yeah, until they start raiding our towns. Gotta start reining those guys in. They've got, they've got mounted braves everywhere. One, two, three, four. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Let's get those dragoons over to that treasure. One, two, three. And I'm going to put this privateer on sentry because, frankly, I haven't seen any ships. Continue building our road. Continue cleansing the countryside of these highwaymen. Am I at war with Spain? I've got these dragoons just fortified outside of Scott. It's not a good thing. 475 gold for the silver, and the price has fallen. Yeah, you can you can only sell so much silver before it comes becomes worthless. Let's sail for the new world. Roanoke produced lumber mill. Very good. Now, how about a blacksmith's? Well, well. How about a church? A church increases cross-production, and cross-production increases emigration. Oh, 
I'll start making tools in Roanoke. One, two, three, four. Next time on Let's Play Colonization... Hmm... Am I at war with Spain? Yes, I am at war with Spain, and they're just sitting out there outside the colony. Spain has to be dealt with, and this treasure has to be rescued from the evil Apache. That and more next time.